If you've ever played with a funhouse mirror or a magnifying glass in the sun, you're going to like these. Just like a funhouse mirror, which bends lights unevenly, or a magnifying glass, which bends evenly, these combine the worst properties of both to make pictures. They work by bending light rays to concentrate them to make bright spots on the wall and dark spots on the wall. And when you move them out of focus or out of position, you get delightful patterns. We can make pretty much anything with these faces, mathematics, in fact, this is a self-documenting lens, ugly faces, pretty faces. Now originally, this problem was related to piles of dirt and piles of sand. There's a field of mathematics called optimal mass transport, which asks if you have two piles of sand, what's the most efficient way to move them out of the way, or to make a third pile of sand, or to construct a sand castle. And depending on your notion of work, that might involve moving some, all, or very few of the grains of sand. Now, what we did here was we generalized optimal mass transport theory to the nonlinear case. And that essentially means that the surface of the lens has a nonlinear relationship to the way that light rays are moved around. We found a lovely little fixed point that allows us to solve this problem in just a few seconds, and it gives us the shape of a lens to do pretty much anything we want. It took a few years to figure out how to actually machine these things, but now that we can, we can make all sorts of interesting shapes. These will eventually become lenses. We prototype them on a 3D printer. And in particular, now we can handle very tiny lenses and fairly large light sources so that we can combine these with LEDs to do fairly amazing things in all sorts of settings. And hopefully in a few years you'll see these out in the streets, in homes, perhaps in toys, in scientific equipment, anywhere where you need clearly customized and very precise distribution of light.